What's up guys? Welcome to This Week in MXA episode number 27 presented to you by O'Neill Racing. As you can see by clicking on the thumbnail, we're giving away a pretty cool motorcycle in this week's video. All right guys, so today we have the Sunday Motors 147. So it's a 150cc pit bike made specifically for flat tracking. It's got no front brake. It's got these big old wide tires on it. And uh, it's got a pretty low price point. I think it's right around $2,300. So MXA Wrecking Crew, we got a survey going on on our website. It's for all the people that read our magazine, visit our website, and really anybody who's interested in winning this bike, we ask you guys to go fill out our survey. You got about a week to do it. You got to do it before July 6th. So finishing up on July 5th, we're going to take up all the people that have finished our survey, put them in a raffle drawing and see who could win this pretty cool bike. So I'm excited that I get to bust it out today. We're out here at Glen Helen. We got the peewee track behind us. Yeah, it would have been ideal to take this to like a little mini flat track or uh, kind of make our own flat track in the backyard, but time, time restraints and just being busy, we're testing other motorcycles today. So we decided let's bring it out to Glen Helen. Let's see what we can do on it. So I've never ridden this bike. Today's gonna be the first time on it, but I'm excited to, uh, to try it out, to, to do some, to produce some funny footage for you guys in this week in MXA, and uh, also got to give you guys a little insight into what you could win if you take the MXA survey. All right, first impressions. It's not as easy <laughs> as, as I thought it would be, but it's pretty fun. It's definitely a pit bike. It's not a, it's not a full size flat tracker. It's definitely a pit bike, but uh, it's pretty fun. The track is perfect right now too, because it's pretty drifty. So I just got to get comfortable. I think uh, my knees are hitting the handlebars a little bit when I get a little sideways coming out of the corner. So got to figure that out, but whew, it's pretty fun. All right, guys, just got done riding this thing. It was pretty fun, as you can see in the videos. It was not as easy as I expected it to be, but we're also not riding it on a flat track. So uh, track was pretty hard packed, this mini track. We asked them not to water it for us, so that was nice. Got some good drifts in the corners. Super fun riding this thing. If you guys want a chance to win one of these things, take our MXA survey. It's on our website. It's pretty quick. I did it myself in about four minutes. Um, if you really think hard on the questions, it might take you a couple minutes longer, but super quick. Easy to enter, about a $2,300 value to get this really cool Sunday Motors 147 pit bike. This thing is the perfect thing to have in your backyard. Build your own flat track course, and it's actually good training and, and good uh, technique work to work on drifting and stuff. So overall, good time. Thanks to Sunday Motors for letting us try out this bike. And don't worry, you won't be using this one that I just bit, put a moto in on. You'll get a brand new one shipped to your house if you win the raffle. Also, I got a super cool interview with Ivan Tedesco, former factory racer and champion in the 250 class. He was out here the other day at Glen Helen testing for the Pro Circuit Kawasaki team, and I caught up to him. Let's hear what he had to say. Yeah, just out here doing some testing, trying to get this outdoor bike a little better for these guys. And I've been doing this gig for about four years now. Uh, obviously, rode for these guys way back in 04 and 05 and uh, had a good relationship with Mitch and the boys. And I was doing the testing for RCH Suzuki when I first retired in 14. And then uh, I had a bad heel injury. I had to take a little bit of time off the bike. But then this deal came up and been doing it now for four years and enjoying it. I think it's the closest thing to, to racing still. At least I'm still around you know, all the guys around the sport I love and still get to ride a lot, which I enjoy. And uh, I, I really really enjoy the technical side of it you know I've always felt like I had a pretty good feel for the bike and uh, be able to communicate to them and, and make stuff better you know a lot of these guys are younger guys that don't 
know a lot, and uh, yeah. I'm kind of here to help bridge that gap. Yeah, I've always kind of picked picked things apart, and you know, really, I, I mean, it's important. You know, if you have two guys that are the same speed, and one guy has a better bike, you know, it's pretty pretty clear who's going to win. So, super big side of the sport, and uh, I enjoy it. You know, the technical side, I've learned a lot over the years, and you know, still learning. Yeah, I'm I'm involved, you know, 100% with him. You know, from on the bike, off the bike. I got my old trainer Darren Stockton helping him with the gym work, but you know, I'm riding bicycles with him at the gym, riding dirt bikes. You know, pretty much full-time deal. So enjoy. At least I, I have. You know, I did this a long time. I have some knowledge. I might as well, you know, carry it on to somebody that wants to listen. I don't know. I enjoy it all. I mean, I, I think uh, motor is pretty black and white. You know, it's it, it either works or it doesn't. Where suspension, chassis stuff, it's a little more fine-tuned to the rider what he likes. And so I try to listen. It's obviously not what I like. It's what these guys want. So I try to listen to all their comments, communicate with them, and try to make the best bike for them, not myself. I mean, I think it gets maybe carried away a little bit sometimes. You know where. I mean, if you're blaming not winning a race on your bike, I mean, I don't know. I, I think if, 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 you know, the work should have been done up to that point if your bike's not good. But I don't know. It is part of it. You know, if, if your bike's not working, it's not working. So, you know, that's why I'm here to try to help these guys. And that way, I mean, because it is easy to get lost as well. You know, you can get out in left field pretty easy, you know, if you're, you're getting bad feedback. So, I don't know. I try to... You know, listen to these guys and try to zone it in. Yeah, yeah, a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, I am picky. I, I think I, I, I know what I like. So, I mean, I think to to be a test rider, test rider for anything, you got to be picky, or else you can't just tell everybody what they want to hear. So, <laughs> yeah, Cooper and Jet, those guys are on it right now. They're riding well and. I think for Joe and Austin, I think just get some starts, get up there and race those guys. I think they, they haven't got a start yet. I think if you look at lap times, they're pretty good. But, you know, to get, I think first off, get up front and show themselves that they can win some races. And then it's just momentum from there, you know. And once you get the ball rolling, it's, I wouldn't say it's easy, but a lot easier. Yeah, that's basically what I got going on. Then just helping out Pete Fox with his new brand, Renan, on the gear. And uh, other than that, just my kids are into ball sports, baseball. So once I leave the track, I'm at the baseball fields at night. and. Nice. Enjoying that side as well. Nice. How many kids? How old are they? I got two boys, uh, 12 and 8. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. We also have been seeing a lot of pro riders out here at Glen Helen this last two weeks, getting ready for the Red Bud National coming up this weekend. So the series has started off slow. We've mentioned it multiple times. They did the first two rounds, took a weekend off, went to High Point, took another weekend off. Now they're going to Red Bud, and this is going to kick off four races in a row. They're going to take another break for Loretta's for about two weekends off, and they're going to finish off the series with five rounds. So the series is finally going to start picking up again, and we're looking forward to that. We saw a lot of guys out here last week. We saw Justin Barsha. Pierce Brown, Joe Shimoda, I, Ivan Tedesco was doing some testing with the Pro Circuit guys, as I already mentioned. Also saw some of the Star Racing Yamaha guys, so enjoy some clips of those guys as they get ready for the Red Bud National. And while the pros were out here training and testing, we were also testing the 2022 KTM 250 SXF. We did our first video on that. You can check it out on our YouTube channel and on our website. The KTM 250 doesn't really have a lot of big changes for the new year. It got that orange frame that everybody loves. It comes with the same air forks that everybody actually really likes a lot more than they did before. So uh, the 21 and 22 air forks from WP are pretty legit. Check out that video to learn more about that, that bike and uh, to learn all the details that we figured out after riding it. All right, guys, that's it for this week in MXA episode 27. Now time for some testing on the main track with some of the big bikes we got. 
A lot of fun today. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching this whole video. KTM crew, they're dropping off new bikes for us to test. So stay tuned to motocrossactionmag.com. We got 2022 bike tests coming there. We got bike tests coming to our YouTube channel. Subscribe there and let us know what you think about this video and this bike in the comments. Hope to see you guys on our website also signing up for our MXA survey so you can have a chance to win that bike as well. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Josh. See you next time.